I'm a little late to the party. Uh, there's no doubt in that. And I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, I've just contemplated whether or not I want to, you know, make a video like this that is political. It may rub some feathers the wrong way. Um, I don't want to spread hate and I don't want to bring hate to my channel. But it's, it's something that's been weighing on me for a long time. And it's the fact that they don't hate the Punisher as the character, what he stands for and what he does. They just hate you. And by you, I mean people who would wear the Punisher symbol, who like the Punisher, and don't fall into the leftist categories of you. You don't fall for their, you know, quote-unquote religion, their cult. Anybody who's outside the norm, anyone who's just middle ground or to the right. Now, to kind of back up my claims as to why I think they just hate you as a person, and I say they... I mean, most Marvel creators, not all, but definitely the people, the editors and the writers and the people who made this Punisher book by Jason Aaron. So if you're not privy to this, basically, Jason Aaron wrote a book about the Punisher and he has been completely deconstructed. To catch you up real quick, basically, the Punisher as a kid was always a serial killer. His wife hated him. He wasn't a good father. He was just an all-around bad person. He only joined the military to kill people, and he was never in control of his life. From the very beginning, the Hand was grooming him to become a part of the lead of the Hand, basically. And just basically, he, he was just being a POS his whole life. There are no more redeeming qualities to this character. People used to be drawn to the Punisher because he was always seen as an honorable man. He was the military, retired ready to enjoy his life like a lot of retired military people finally getting out. Now you get to finally be with your wife, be with your kids, and be a family, and tragically they were murdered. Well, like I said, all that has been wiped out. Basically, he was just a POS the whole time. His family never even liked him. He's going to get a divorce, and that's kind of wrap up that entire story. And basically what the goal is is just to make everyone who sees the Punisher and likes that character and puts it on their truck, their work van, their uniform, whatever they may do. Now, when people see that, they're going to think of you as one of their is. They're Nazis, they're racist, they're transphobe. That's what you are going to be seen now. That is the whole point to this, to turn their political opposition. It's like the red hat. This is the red hat of the Marvel Universe is this Punisher school. But don't get that construed because they are not against what the Punisher does. For example, let's take the Marvel movies, the MCU, the Scarlet Witch. All you hear is a bunch of Yas Queen, you go girl for the Scarlet Witch. She is basically, in the movies, the same character as the Punisher. She has a family, even though it's, I mean, it's even worse because her family is completely made up. She completely made up her family. She fabricated it all. She never really had kids. And she enslaved an entire town. And at the beginning of that movie, uh, the the new Doctor Strange movie, she's basically picking flowers and she's like a good person. Everyone's forgiven her for enslaving this entire town and all these people. And come to find out, she's going through these universes. She, mur she murders everybody and part of Doctor Strange's crew, murders everyone. Going around universe to universe, taking over the other Scarlet Witch people's lives just to steal kids that she never had. But no one ever speaks out against that. No one ever speaks about how horrible she is, how bad of a character she is. And she never even had a real family. And then we go into characters like Harley Quinn that can just be all of a sudden forgiven because now she's munching on Ivy's bushes. And pun intended. So you got Harley Quinn, who was an awful character, but this whole time she was just being, she's actually good. She was being manipulated or she's not bad. She's like neutral, whatever they want to try to strive. But she was a horrible, horrible person. I mean, there is even a comic where she gives kids devices like video games and then blows them all up and kills a bunch of kids. But all of a sudden she's forgiven because now she's with Ivy and she's she's turned sides. And by turn sides, I don't mean being a good person anymore. She's a horrible person. But they're able to see redeeming qualities in that. They weren't able to give anything punisher any redeeming qualities but they're able to give someone who kills kids redeeming qualities and now oh hugsy wugsy everyone just loves like it, they just love harley quinn those leftists for some reason they're just so attached to her they just think she's so cute and that just goes to my point 
that they don't care that the Punisher was out there killing people. All they cared was the people who, in the real world, used his symbol, and they see that they don't like those people that use those symbols. If there's a bunch of Harley Quinn people wearing that symbol, cops, uniform, uh, military, anybody wearing a Harley Quinn for whatever reason, they wouldn't think that was bad. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have any negative thought because they love Harley Quinn, no matter how much more evil she is than the Punisher. Then we can even go look into uh, Nature Girl, where she basically, she goes on a murder spree because some sea animal choked on a plastic bag, kills a random clerk, starts killing other people, starts fights. I mean, she's just going on this murder spree and she's totally forgiven, never in prison for anything. And it's like, she's, she's going around killing people for an animal that died and the people had no relation. I mean, it, it's wild. This is the thing like you have to understand is that they're not just making up stories. These people, they're not creative enough. This is the things that are going on their mind and they're writing it down on the paper. This is not a made up story or a what if possibility like most creators do. They don't put themselves into the character. They write the character and they make interesting stories and see how that would character would react in that story. But these current creators are so uncreative, they literally just word vomit their own thoughts onto the paper. That's why they're deconstructing all these characters because no one wants to write Punisher because none of them can physically have that thought to write on about the Punisher. That's why they couldn't have a redeeming quality when they turn all these characters, different sexes and all this stuff. And these none of the main characters from the main big uh, big two act like they used to because they're not writing the character. They're writing themselves into the character. They're not thinking, how would Batman react in this situation? Or how would I react if I was Batman in this situation? The leftists, they love the whole going after Nazis, killing Nazis and you know, fascist bigot all those big words like to use they just never did that with the punisher they just didn't want to have him doing that because then that would look good on him and thus people they hate would look good that like the punishers now the punishers out the killing all the people they don't like because honestly these leftists they don't really have a good sense of justice let's just say that i um i have I, i've been in a place where i've been for several hours, several times, several a whole year face to face with these leftists during protests and riots. And I've seen how they think and what they do and how they react to certain stuff and just their whole mindset behind it. Honestly, they don't care much if you're out there robbing, assaulting, hurting people. And those are the kind of people that Punisher goes after. No, they're like what the worst thing to them you could be is a racist. Or, or even just being accused of racism or transphobia or homophobia. Those things are worse to them than actual murder. Those things can be forgiven. As I've said in Harley Quinn, Nature Girl, and Wanda from the movie, those things, those things can be forgiven because they're not bigots and racists. But you can't be forgiven the Punisher because of the people who like the Punisher. They don't want them to see them in that light and reflect that when they write that down they look at that guy they, they, they want no redeeming qualities and i think this is going to become relevant again as the new uh disney streaming service and they bring back punisher i think that they're really going to try to drive this home i think they have to get that message out here away from just the niche audience of comic books and to those millions and millions of viewers on to the Disney Channel and the streaming services so those millions of people can see that so every time they see someone that has that symbol it's like that red hat they can point them out and say look there's a bigot who has the Punisher skull on him or has it on the back of their car that I think that is going to be the main goal and what they want to wrap this up is to have everyone look at that person and see him as a bigot like they see like that red hat to them it's just it's such a big focus for them I mean they use it in their comic books as as allegories all the time i think even the most recent x-men movie uh, x-men comic that came out here uh in 2024 january they have like a red hat crew that they're fighting fascists and biggest i mean it this is this is their end game is to ostracize people who like this character that's why they changed the symbol and that's why they got rid of every redeeming quality because there should be nothing to like about this character whatsoever Kind of a somber video, but I really do want to thank you all for listening. 
and watching. I appreciate the views and the likes and the comments. If you disagree with me or agree with me, I'm a little late to the party, but that's fine. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and follow. Be safe. Peace.